Hey class, so we're back and we have our spaceship blocked out. I'm just going to put it onto this geo layer. So right click, add selected objects and um, go to my front view. And I'm going to make a couple rocket type shapes that may be helpful for you. So I'm going to import a, an image plane. And this is a really cool Warbot um, by Johnny Duddy. And I just love this kind of rocket style. There's so much that can be done with it. So I'm gonna make this really fast with a sphere. Now you'll notice that I have a lot of divisions here. So it, this is the default at 20 divisions. And I think it's gonna be too much geometry for my needs. So I'm just gonna delete this guy. Go to create polygon primitive sphere and check the option box. And this time for my divisions, I'm going to select 12. So that's giving me less um, across and down, but that's 12 is plenty. I'm going to select the individual vertices, kind of like what we do with our stylized spheres. Click and double click the hold down shift and double click the next um, face next to it to select these faces and then just do an extrude. So instantly you can see that the shape is coming along with this um, particular rocket shape. All right, so let's do this. Now if I hit three for smooth preview, and um, now I'm just gonna adjust the top, but you can see that this shape is already like 80% there. Um, soft selection allows you to just kind of have a nice soft fall off. So it's an, a good one to select if you're um, trying to adjust soft shapes that are going to be smooth. And then I just want to adjust kind of the scaling of these particular um, edges. So remember that if you double click an edge, then you can add an edge loop. I'm um, using the multi-cut tool here to just add some holding edges to give some of these edges around the bottom sharpness. So remember to hold down control and click. And there you go. So I'm just gonna line it up next to the original um, reference. Turn on X-ray mode in my shading. And you can see that's a pretty good likeness. Great, so now there is a little bit of detail work that I'd like to include. Um, that's the kind of edging that you see. So I'm gonna make a duplicate of this and hide that on my geo layer. And now I'm going to use a tool called Offset Edge Loop. There we go. Under Mesh Tools to create edge loops on either side of this um, particular edge loop so I can create the indentations that are positioned here. Now this is a pretty awkward tool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, what you have to do is click on the vertical edge that you're trying to create a loop around and then use move your mouse up and down or left and right and that will adjust the size of this edge loop. So you can see here I'm moving my mouse up and down and it's changing the size of the offset. But what's nice about it is it creates two equal offsets for um, this particular edge loop. All right, now I can go in and select by faces and I'm going to extrude these faces in so that I have that kind of um, edging indentation that's in the original picture. Now, what's interesting about this concept art is that it is um, offset. So there's two, the same edging is not in the same place. Here I'm using extrude and I'm using the double extrude method. So extrude once, extrude again, and that will add a holding edge. Um, so you'll have a nice sharp indentation. Okay, so when I turn off wireframe on shaded, um, you can see there is a bit of a bump that I just created down on the lower half of this model. So we're gonna do our first kind of topology exercise here with our multi-cut tool to fix this. 
and this weird bump is created because I just added two edges around our model and um, Maya smooths between three edges so it's creating an extra smoothing area. Now the way to fix this is using your multi-cut tool and what I did was go from the new edges that I created, the outside corners, to the existing edge. So it's creating kind of a little triangle. So you click on those two vertices and hit enter. And that basically removes the extra edge loops that we don't need. It's a little tricky, um, but once you start working with these edge loops and start eliminating these extra edge loops, you'll definitely get it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing in uh, just an edge loop over and hopefully that will, this will make a little more sense as you see it again. So I'm gonna use that offset edge loop tool and this time I'm gonna click and drag left, select just the vertices, so switch to my select tool, select just the faces that I need to extrude in holding down shift while I'm selecting. And then from here, I can extrude using that double extrude method. Now remember that 99.9% .9 of the time you're gonna be using that blue arrow to extrude. So I extruded once and then extruded again. So the first time I extruded, I just moved the blue arrow a tiny bit. The second time I moved it a lot more. And you can see we want to eliminate those extra edges at the top here. So we're gonna use the exact same method with the multi-cut tool and um, add some extra cuts from the outside. So the outside edge of our model or our, our little cut to the original edge. So I'm not sure I actually got this one correct, but let's see. So command and delete. We'll delete those extra edges. Um, yeah, I think I probably should have added one more cut, uh, the cut higher up. So let's do that really quickly. Otherwise, we actually have an end gone right here. So I'm going to select my object one more time. And this time I'm going to make a multi-cut from the outside corners here to the vertice above and hit enter. So now there are no end gons. There's a few triangles, but no end gons. And if I deselect all, there may be a little adjusting that's needed, but at least um, it's topologically correct. Awesome. All right, so there's one other shape I wanna show you and I will um, speed this up a tiny bit. Um, I'm gonna put this geo on that geo layer and the last thing I want to show you and I'm sorry I am speeding this up a lot is um, just how to make a sphere that has um, some offsets on it so I'm going to extrude select the top faces extrude in extrude in again with that double extrude method just to add those extra holding edges and what you can see is that I'm kind of creating like this weird like little eyeball with a rim around it. This can be a really nice, um, just an extra detail if you want a place on the top of your uh, model for, I don't know, um, maybe a laser beam or a beacon light. So that can be something that you can use. And then I'm just gonna position these into place. So I'm gonna have three kind of rocket engines in the back, I think and just duplicating them over, moving and scaling and rotating them so they're not completely overlapping or touching. But I want that kind of configuration. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to play with proportions. I want you all to definitely make three models with um, three of these models with slightly different proportions or drastically different proportions. So um, once you kind of get your pieces into place, then it'll be fun for you to see just how easy it is to play with proportions in Maya.
Okay, so now this is all relatively set. I'm gonna create a group and um, for this object. So I'm gonna select the whole thing, make sure that all of these selected objects are on my geo layer, and then go to edit and group. So you can see they're all separate objects right now. If you go to edit and group, you've created a group that contains all of your objects. If you double click on the name in the outliner, um, you can rename this. So I'm gonna want to rename it like Spaceship um, Configuration 1. And in the next video, we will play with proportions. All right, thanks class.